تعرف ديريك تضربه قال لي اطلع بالكهرباء قلت له وعليه شكون اللي ضربك؟ هاول امنه؟ هاول امنه تبار بالمطر اكو على سيارة هو قدام يجري وهم زيرو يضربوا بالمطر على سيارة الحلة بيش؟ الحلة بز بزلامات انت حليت ايدك؟ اي انا حليت ايدي شو قلت لهم؟ قال فيها معناتها مش نعملها From the moment of a person's arrest till the time he is brought before a judge, that's what we call pre-charge detention. In Tunisia, this period of time can last up to six days, which is quite a long time during which a person is at the mercy and in the hands of the police without access to a lawyer or to outside visits. This makes a person particularly vulnerable and increases the risks of abuse. واحد منهم جبد شوك الكتريك قال قالوا ليه حكايه فارغه هذا لازم لازم نصرفوا معاه لازمنا معناتها معناتها وقال كلام برشا كلام زيد بيان سور منهم واحد ضخم ضخم عظيم يوصف لي كيفاش باش يعذبني هاو بعد شويه باش نبدا نعذب فيك هاو كما تجيبش الصحيح وما تقولش هاوش باش نعمل لك حتى حتى هددني انه يعتدي علي جنسيا Arrested persons are held in detention centers until they are brought before a judge who will decide whether to release them or bring them to trial. During this period of time, they can also be brought back to police stations for interrogation. Before the overthrow of President Ben Ali in January 2011, it was virtually impossible for human rights organizations to investigate conditions inside detention centers in Tunisia. Now, new authorities have proved far more open and the Ministry of Interior has given uh, Human Rights Watch unprecedented access to some of the detention facilities by giving it permission to go visit and even film inside those detention centers. Detention authorities showed us an empty cell in Bushusha, which is the biggest detention center in Tunisia. This is what they use for the drinking water. The toilet is uh, separated by uh, a small uh, wall. Um, they have uh, put today soap. Last time that we were here, there was no soap. And even detention authorities told us that it was... They, don't, they never give them uh, soap because they are afraid of, uh, you know, that they would do immoral things. This is the words of the detention authorities. <laughs> Most detainees reported uh, feeling constantly hungry. Uh, they described the food as being food in name only and sometimes as being fit for turtle uh, because the sandwiches they received were only made out of harissa and in the best cases uh, they had salad and some luncheon meat. So we are now in the jail uh, of Sfax which is uh, one of the biggest city in Tunisia. So this is, we are here inside the cell and uh, we uh, see that the toilet is quite in a very bad state. We eat here, huh? you eat here, you, you sleep here, you drink here, you stay here six days, five days. Several detainees reporting having seen rats uh, inside their cells coming from the uh, toilet hole uh, and that they, uh, this is uh, preventing them even from sleeping during the night. When we were in Nebel uh, detention center, we found a Russian guy who was in very bad shape. He had bruises all over his body. He had a uh, black eye and uh, his wrists had marks from uh, the handcuffs. Do you have to sign something? Yeah, yeah. Sign on papers? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I uh, say they... Uh, uh -huh. They write? Yeah, I'm sorry. But, but, did, you, but did, you, did you read? I don't... Uh, read Arabic? Yes. But you signed? Yeah. This is one of the examples of how uh, detainees could be forced to sign uh, confessions and statements that will later be used against them in court. 
and nearly half of the uh, detainees we spoke with reported that they have signed confessions without reading them because they were forced to do so by the police either through mistreatment or through uh, different kinds of other coercion. جاني مع ذي الأربعة ونص التعليل جاب لي المحضر وقال لي صحة قلت له شنو صح قال لي صح قلت له نقرأ أنا قلت نقرأ وعاود ورجعوا يسبوا فيا ويشتموا فيا ويدفعوا فيا وخرجوني للكلوار وتقرأ وتشوف وساوموني بالمرويح قال لي صححت نكذب عليك صححت ما نجمش ما صححش خاطر ديجا قلت لك أنا نموت نشوف فيها وقتها صححت يجي معناتها فما 50 ورقة فما تقريبا تعبت من الصحاح ديجا هاند كافس ذيس از هاند كافس on your face here the problem is that there is a, a gap in the in the law because there is no legal representation up to six days and even sometimes uh, even more uh, the detainee does not have a right to legal representation so nobody can really assist him to make the case that he has been beaten up by a policeman وهذه يعني نعتقد انها مده طويله جدا ويعني تتجاوز المعايير الدولية التي تقول بأن مدة الاحتفاظ لدى الشرطة القضائية لا يجب أن تتجاوز 48 ساعة وعلاوة على ذلك فالقانون لا يسمح للشخص المشبوه أو الموقوف المحتفظ به بأن يستعين بمحامي وبطبيعة الحال غياب المحامي ينقص كثيرا من الضمانات من ضمانات البحث ويؤول إلى الخروقات والتجاوزات وحالات العنف والتعذيب التي تسلط أو يمكن أن تسلط على الأشخاص المحتفظ بهم أثناء البحث. On the 9th of October, the Parliament voted on the creation of an independent monitoring body for the prevention of torture. Now the next steps would be to grant this body uh, financial and political support and give it an unimpeded access to all places of detention. During this time of pre-charge detention, when things go wrong, this will have huge implications for the entire judicial process. A person can be forced to sign confession without the presence of a lawyer and this confession can be used against him later in court. This hampers obviously his right to due process.